Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here we are going through a basic cryptography try hack me room. The name of this room is cryptography for dummies. Uh, let's see the basic introduction about the cryptography. So cryptography is a big topic. We are going to cover the basic to give this basic understanding. So why is, what is cryptography or why we need cryptography? So let's. So types of cryptography is symmetric and asymmetric cryptography. And or symmetric cryptography, the encryption and decryption keys are different. And the encryption key can be used only the for encryption, not for decryption, and vice versa. And the encryption key is called five public key, and the decryption call is is called private key. There is more about the asymmetric and symmetric cryptography. So, what type of cryptography is more secure? Basic. Obviously, asymmetric cryptography is more secure. And what type of cryptography is faster? So, because of the same key for the symmetric cryptography, the symmetric key is faster than asymmetric cryptography. And what type of cryptography will be, will a bank site use? So, Asymmetric cryptography is more secure than the symmetric, so that's why banks are always using asymmetric cryptography. So what will you use to encrypt your message in asymmetric cryptography? So for encryption, we need public key. And what will you use to decrypt a message in asymmetric cryptography? So we need private key for the encryption, for decryption. Uh, does symmetric cryptography use two different keys for encryption and decryption or decryption? No. Because as symmetric cryptography are used both keys are same keys. And asymmetric cryptography use different key for encryption and decryption. Uh, let's see what is hash. Hashes are long string of letter and number generated by hashing algorithm. They take plain text and make it a hash. So plain text and there's the hat has function and then the has keys has text so here is a md5 has it looks like this uh, i understand the has is completed what the md5 has of hashes are cool so let's copy this text and here is a website called CyberSafe. So we are going to doing MD5 has. So let's search MD5 and paste here. Here's the output of the MD5 has. Okay. Yeah. And what does MD5 stand for? How we can see. MD5 stand for message digest five. And who created MD5? So there is hint research. So basically we are copy this question and Google it. Hmm, Ronald Rivers. Oh. 
let's decoding and encoding so there is a difference between the encoding and encryption let's say you have an encryption file the only way to decrypt it is using key and while encoding data can be decoding immediately without keys it's not a form of encryption so encoding decoding there are page 64 has an looks like how encoding text of base 64 so encode the string cryptography is useful with x64 so there are plenty of online tools so copy the text and go to our website and now from base 64 So copy, oh, sorry, we have to encode that, so from two base 64. Yeah, let's start put. And decode the string with page 64. So here you can see it looks like base 64 encoding as the example. So copy the string and now we have to decode the string. So from base 64, The secret word is watermelon. So let's look at uh, what is the secret word. So the secret word is watermelon. Yeah. Mm, thanks for completing my room. If you are interested in cryptography and to learn more, I suggest complete cryptography room to come try me. Okay, so yeah, we have completed. Thanks for watching.